So, you finally farmed all you need from Army Warehouse and below. That's great. Means you're probably in search for one of these bad boys right now. Well, we're gonna need all of them. <laughs> Tough luck, buddy. Well, going into new territory is important to know which kind of dangers you're gonna encounter around. So, why don't you come with me and let me show you the types of radiation that Ian Overt's cuts has, where they are located, and how to avoid them. <laughs> well, that will save you a lot of time and some headaches. Now, considering that you want to go to the north, I assume you have farmed all you need for Emira House and below. If you didn't realize yet, this is a more stalker's focus guy because I never plays a bandit. So I'm talking about the Anov outskirts. Bandit size more red forest. And you probably have one of these falling armors that you're gonna need to set foot in Yanov. So in the combat session, you either have the Worn Legionnaire or the Worn Osh. In the Explorer session, you either have the Voshod or the Worn PSZ-10. In the combo section, you have the Worn 8A4 Rider. And in the Science session, you either have the Worn 7, the Low Light, the Emerald, or the Topaz. Honestly, if I were you, I would start going with the science suit first, set foot in Yanov, because with the science suit, you give you free roam for like 80% of the map. So I recommend you start with it. So let's jump right into it. I don't want to get a lot of guys' time. Uh, just simple and dynamic. Here we have the whole map of Yanov outskirts. Uh, I'm just gonna go into an overview. We have the entrance. If you're duty, you're probably gonna go in entrance in and of through here. If you're freedom, you're gonna probably through here. And if you're stalker, any place, it doesn't matter. So bottom here of Yanov, we have the lower swamps. We have the ear, because looks like an ear. We have the first uh, thermal place. Here we have the middle uh, swamps you will have either you can call it the city or the uh, fab fabrication plant forgot the word right now but i call it the city and here we have the upper swamps at least that's how i call it so let's go into what got what type of radiation goes where here uh, so first thing first here we have the map again, and each one of these colors represent one type of radiation. I'm gonna be painting the place. If that painting is, uh, if that place is painted like yellow, that place has radiation three. If it's green, bio two. If it's more darker green, bio three. I hope you guys could understand that. All right. So let's start by the base. Uh, don't don't let me forget that. The entire place, the entirety of Ianov outskirts has radiation 2 and uh, Psi 1. So no matter where you are, you'll be afflicted by radiation 2 and Psi 1. So go with an armor that has resistance to those two. All right? All right. So let's start with the lower section. Start here with the lower swamps. The lower swamps, they're both bio two. So all this part right here is bio two. If you use the bridge, you don't go uh, the down part of the bridge, you won't uh, feel the bio two radiation. So uh, if you use, uh, let's say, a combat suit like Legionnaire, like Centurion, if you go into the lower parts of the bridge, you're gonna take Bio 2 damage. Alright, so this first part here is Bio 2. This is the Thermal, but it's only Thermal 2. If you have Thermal 2 radiation, you can come here, a lot of uh, Thermal... Artifacts spawn here, so maybe you can find a mama's bead. I found 
um, wolf tears, suns, flares, a lot of things can, no, flares are uh, electrical one, sorry. You can find a lot of flame artifacts here. Okay, that's it for this part. Uh, let me find the other one. Okay, uh, here going to the middle, we have three places, I believe there are four places exactly, that have radio radiation tree. First, this path right here, there's a, if you go this place, let me sh try to show you better. Um, go here, go here. Oops. Well, either way, if you're coming from here, there's a path here that's like an upwards hill. And this place right here has radiation tree. It's safer if you have a science suite. So we're going to use that. This place right here, uh, this place is the duty side, also has red tree, and the freedom side, my bad. Here are the duty side, the freedom side, radiation tree. Uh, here, also radiation tree, and I believe there's a hill up here that also radiation tree. So, these parts are radioactive, and this entire middle swamp, the entirety of it, is bio tree. Well, uh, not the the catwalk and the helipad. The helipad, they're not. They don't have bio tree. But um, this part right here, has bio tree. This part right here, has bio tree. There are some trucks here. I don't think you can see them very clearly. But from the trucks to the left, bio tree. Also, somewhere right here, also bio tree. This entire place is bio tree. You don't want to go into this without uh, a science suit. Um, this place right here is beside two. So, uh, this building and parts of this forest right here. This full bio beside too. Sorry. So if you go into here, try to get a psi. If you have a, you don't have bio tree, you can simply go this way. You can either go this way into this crane that I have right here and go right here, or you can just go into here and do something like this. Be careful though here. And here is a lot of black holes. You don't want to step on those. Okay, let's go into the the city. Also, the factory. That was the word I forgot. The factory. So, not a lot to talk about the city. We have uh, bio radiation four. Forgot to put the four here. Let's say this is red four. Everything is professional here, guys. So radiation for this entire middle section of the city is radiation for. You don't want to step in this without radiation for protection. All right. So this place is radioactive. We have the thermal for. I also forgot to put the thermal for. So we have thermal, uh, let's say this is four. Here, you see this kind of tunnels. The entirety of it is thermal four. A lot of uh, artifacts spawn either here or here. Here, fire artifacts in here have a lot of other anomalies like electrical, but this entire place is infested with radiation four. And this place with radi with the thermal four, okay. Uh, up here we have psi. So if, if a drop, sometimes a drop spawns either here or here. You're gonna need psi two protection from those. So about the city is about that. And lastly. 
we have what I call the swamps and the forest part. The swamps, like the lower swamps, they are bio tree. You don't want to step into those. Here, bio tree. Here, bio tree. And this part, as I said, is Psi 2. And like I said before, if you don't have good protection, let's say you're just using a, a, an exosuit or a, a legionnaire, something like that, you can just come through here if you want to go to this part of the forest, you can go through here. If you want to go to the city, you just you have to go up to this part because if you remember, this entire place here is bio tree. You don't want to cross here without protection, so you're gonna uh, make your pet. If you want to go to the uh, city and you come through the left. You have to do all this run around. Well, guys, is that's all I want to talk to you uh, for today. It's really simple, just an informative guide, and nothing much professional because sorry, I don't have that kind of ability, that kind of skill. And I hope you guys like it. If you want me to do something like that about a red forest, I don't have a lot of playtime red forest, but I can think something about. Thanks for everything. If you guys uh, like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll try to do more StarCraft videos and see you guys next time.